Manurad Sundaram, is that what really the problem was? That this ended up being a, a political slugfest on an issue which was something which we see over and over again in India, fake videos. Well, it is a little bit more concerted and serious than that, Vishnu. Uh, it is what I would describe as a malicious disinformation campaign over the last five days. Of course, inciting hatred, communal, fanning communal tension, uh, and other sort of fake news factory uh, outcomes we have seen in our country, unfortunately, in the recent past. But in this particular issue, they have been on overdrive. Don't take my word for it. Uh, please ask your viewers uh, to go to a fact check website like Alt News yeah, no, and, Alt and News look has at called it out. They have they've, they've said it's completely fake. Um, I, exactly. I think that 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 goes without uh, you know. So that's not in dispute per se. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. You know, I asked the director general of police whether there was a conspiracy, and you know, he said, "Look, there has to be an investigation before we do that." What is your and view? I think that's. I think that's fair. I mean, as, as a police officer, he, he is guarded about what sure, he can sure, say and, sure. and the investigation. But but my, my view is this. Um, and if you'll give me one minute, please. A uh, lot of this is a, like I said, a concerted misinformation campaign. There are two reasons for it. Reason number one, Tamil Nadu has been ranked as the most urbanized state and it has one of the largest manufacturing sector, which provides employment and livelihood to millions. Nearly, uh, Vishnu, last week, there was a report which said, 50% of Indian women working in factories anywhere are working in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu has also recorded some of the highest foreign direct investment of late. There is, of course, you know, a lot of envy in those who claimed the Gujarat model, model and have been subsequently exposed by the Hindenburg report that this Tamil Nadu growth or inclusive development model has irked them. But secondly, and more importantly, also, Vishnu, there is a political angle at play. On the 1st of March, if you remember, less than five days ago, the Tamil Nadu chief minister shared the dais with a number of other leaders. And one of them was the deputy chief minister of Bihar. Now, after Mr. Tejas Yadav, and after his uh, coming to Chennai, suddenly there is a concern amongst, you know, these fake news factories about the welfare and security of migrant laborers. I can assure you the director general of police, as he said, there is, they've put out videos, they've taken out a number of measures, including setting up a dedicated helpline. You know, if there is a true claim, they will look into it as they would for any other person living in Tamil Nadu. But these are nothing but malicious, distorted, concocted, fabricated, fake news factory propelled uh, stories. So I, I hope that we can put them to rest. Like I said, there are two motivations. One the problem that they have that the Tamil Nadu model is doing better. And secondly, that they see this political alignment between various entities against the Bharatiya Janata Party, okay. especially, you know, by the DMK and the RJD amongst them.